Hi, and welcome back to another top tip how-to guide on the canary room. Today, well, it's how to treat the birds with frontline for mite as part of the prevention of mite. Now, mite is one of the biggest challenges that any bird breeder, whether that be canaries or, or other types of birds, has. And, uh, um, you know, it can devastate a bird's room if it's not kept under control. The key with mites, and we've got a separate video on, on sort of mite prevention in general, the key with mites is to assume that you have it. Um, a lot of people will say, a lot of bird breeders will say, I've never seen a mite in my shed. And, and, and for me, you know, I, 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 if that's the case for them, then that's fantastic. I certainly have replaced all the cages in the canary room recently. And, um, you know, I know having caught the birds up, inspected the birds, that I know that some of the birds are still carrying mite. There are different types of mite um, that some live on canaries, some live on the cages. So, Northern mite typically uh, is a mite that you'll find living on the birds um, and that mite uh, needs a host to, to feed from and it will move from one to another. Um, now, uh, a, a bird that's in really good condition, um, you know, can cope with um, a degree of mite on them. A bird that isn't in good condition, you know, mites ultimately can, um, can, can can have a real impact on them. Uh, whether or not they can cause fatality um, untreated, uh, I'm not sure. I, uh, I often think it's the underlying health condition, but certainly the mites don't help and they can exasperate that condition. So what we're gonna look at today is how we, um, we treat the mite. Um, and one of the first things that we look to do is we're looking to uh, catch the bird up um, and we're using something called Frontline here. Now it's a, a veterinary based product and you are able to access it and um, we're using a Frontline product and what we want to do is uh, invert the bird and then we want to find the um, preen gland on the bird and once we found the preen gland then we can treat that accordingly so it's just a little drop on the preen gland and it's something that I'll repeat every couple of weeks probably six seven eight weeks before the breeding season and then I'll do it again at the end of the breeding season I hope you've enjoyed this quick explainer video if you have give us a thumbs up give us a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do if you've got any comments any guides you'd like to see in future pop them down in the comments below and we'll make them uh, in future episodes thanks for watching